The power of intelligent lifting, combining industry-leading hoist design with best-in-class Magnatec variable frequency drive performance, the Lodestar VS puts the power to monitor and adjust hoist performance at your fingertips. Equipped with the Magnatec Impulse G Plus Mini Drive, the Lodestar VS features CM high-tech hoist interface technology, one of the easiest to use computer interfaces on the market, developed exclusively by Columbus McKinnon. To access CM High Tech, simply plug one end of the programming cable into a laptop or tablet, and the other into Lodestar's convenient, easy to access port. Now let's take a look and see what CM High Tech can do. Adjusting hoist speed and acceleration. With the six to one speed ratio, the Lodestar VS provides unsurpassed micro positioning capabilities. To set one, two, or three speeds, Simply click into the Speed and Acceleration tab and use the slides to select your speeds. You will notice that based on your selections, acceleration and deceleration rates are automatically calculated based on control methods and speed selections. To keep these selections and any other selections you enable through CM High Tech, be sure to click the Save button. Enabling Swift Lift. In the same tab, you can also enable Swift Lift. The Swift Lift feature is designed to increase operator efficiency, allowing the hook to move 200% faster when the hoist is not under load. Simply turn the Swift Lift feature on, and CM High Tech will automatically set the speeds and delay time. Setting upper and lower limits. To set the hoist upper and lower limits, click on the Limits tab in the CM High Tech interface. The Lodestar VS's electronically programmable limit switches allow you to ramp down to stop, decreasing load balance and increasing brake life. They are extremely easy to set. First, carefully move the hook to the desired upper limit position. Allow sufficient clearance between the hook and the hoist body. Check the hoist manual for recommended minimum clearance. Once the hook is in position, return to the CM High Tech interface. Go to the Limits section of the interface and review the safety acknowledgement. Then, click the Set Upper Limit at Current Position button in the interface. Run the hoist up to verify the limit is set. A small amount of travel is to be expected when first setting either limit. Next, carefully run the chain down to the desired lower limit position, again leaving sufficient clearance before the end of the chain. Click the Set Lower Limit at Current Position button in the interface. Run the hoist down to verify the lower limit. Once the upper and lower limits are set, you can set the slow approach limits. Slow approach limits allow the hoist to automatically slow down as it approaches its travel limits. This prevents loads from being jarred due to a sudden stop and also signals to the hoist operator that they are approaching the end of travel. Slow approach limits are enabled and disabled with the slow approach limit toggle switch in the interface. Slow Approach Offset Slider allows you to adjust how much distance, in inches, is inserted between the final travel limit and the slow approach zone. This parameter is set at the factory, but you can customize it to your situation. Enabling Load Check 2. When enabled, Load Check 2 monitors capacity and prevents overloading if capacity is exceeded. There are a variety of steps you'll need to follow to set up Load Check 2. Simply follow the step-by-step -step prompts in the interface, and when complete, you'll have enabled additional overload protection on the hoist. Click on the Setup Load Check 2 button, then read the calibration load requirements. If you have a calibration load available, attach it to the hoist and click the button to proceed. Lift the calibration load two feet off the ground, then click the Next button to proceed. Fully depress the up button on your pendant until the hoist automatically slows down. Then click the next button to proceed. Lower the load back to the ground and click the next button. Load check to setup is now complete. Click the done button to return to the limits menu. You'll see load check two is now enabled. After setup procedure is complete, Lift and lower your calibration weight several times. If you find that Load Check 2 rejects your calibration load, increasing the acceleration and steady state margins can help. These allow you to fine tune Load Check 2. 
As with all other programmable features, be sure to save the changes to the hoist by clicking on the Save to Hoist button. Checking hoist status and fault information. Within the CM HiTech interface, you can easily access hoist status and fault information. If you click on the Maintenance tab, you'll see two sections. The first is Current Hoist Status. This shows you comprehensive hoist status information, including stop and start cycles, motor run time, DC bus voltage, as well as over temp and over current events. The other section will show hoist fault information, including errors and failures. This is extremely useful because it allows you to easily access onboard diagnostics, so you can identify and resolve issues within preventative maintenance before they become bigger problems. CM High Tech has built-in error prevention. This ensures the hoist is programmed correctly by rejecting incorrect parameters and prompting you to make corrections before programming is complete. For more information on the Lodestar VS, visit www.cmworks.com or check out our other product videos on our YouTube channel.